Whether you look at the challenges the students go through as they mature in a society where they're classified according to their academic achievements or at the dedication patiently provided by the instructors, My Voice, My Life is inspiring, eye-opening and touching. But most importantly, the film makes us reflect on issues from low self-esteem to blindness. And it is a great reminder of how limiting labels are. As a documentary filmmaker, um, you always want to film something with challenge. Uh, you want to find good story. Um, so I think this, um, this documentary um, you know, show the challenges that the young people face uh, in Hong Kong nowadays. And also, at the same time, it shines some hope to the young people. And so that people understand if they, the young people are given an opportunity, they could ex excel in things that they, they love or that uh, arts can help them build their confidence. So. That's something I think that um, that's the film. You know, the, hopefully, that w that's what um, the message of the film is. I'm a very lazy girl. <laughs> yeah, so lazy. So I have to practice musical because I have. I'm the lead actress in a musical, so I have uh, so many things to do, so many songs to rehearsal, so many dance to. I have to dance so many scenes. I have to act so I have to try my best and use my whole time and my energy to practice the musical that's the most difficult part yeah I'm not confident at all and I always told her that oh I cannot do it I cannot do it it's good <laughs> and then uh, she always encouraged me and she uh, told me you can do it. You just tried, um, and after all, and I can uh, dance and sing successfully. Ruby Yang plans to be based in Hong Kong for the next two or three years to continue exploring themes that relate to Hong Kong and China for future projects. As far as we know, that includes co-producing a documentary film about multiple generations called The Last Stitch with fashion designer Alfred Song and a celebratory project with the Asian Youth Orchestra. I'm working on the Asian Youth Orchestra. It's their 25th anniversary. And they have based the founder, found the Asian Youth Orchestra in Hong Kong. And they based in Hong Kong for 25 years. It's really celebrating um, uh, as well as the Asia, you know, the diversity as well as the, um, being based in Hong Kong, it tells a lot because the Hong Kong Hong Kong is really a, a city where welcome um, all the different cities of different countries, and they're free to the music tie them together. And uh, they after the six uh, weeks of training, they also perform throughout in China, in in Japan, in in Vietnam and I think that's the spirit of Hong Kong is the encompassing different um, country and cultures and Hong Kong is really the hospitality of Hong Kong is really shown in the in this uh, uh, Asian Youth Orchestra. What are some other future causes that you would like to address or to explore with your documentary work? Actually, um, I'm looking in doing a documentary on a domestic uh, helper in Hong Kong. Um, there are over 300,000 domestic workers working in Hong Kong, and they, um, they have to leave their family back home to be you know, helping the families in Hong Kong, and very much like um, Chinese uh, in, back in 150 years ago during the gold rush. They, they left home and make money so that they can send money back home so that they can build a home and that, so that their uh, family can uh, live a better life. And that's very much like the, other, the domestic workers uh, from Philippines and from Indonesia and from Thailand. So I think that's, I see a parallel. So I'm working, developing that, that documentary. I'm not sure 
I haven't have um, the characters uh, uh, yet, but I'm uh, doing doing research right now. What's the time frame like for something like that? Once you start developing an idea, exploring a topic, how long does it normally take until you're finished? Yeah, until I'm ready to write it. Three to five years. Ah, <laughs> it's a long time. It's like. Um, the HIV series that we um, did in China. We started in 2002 to fundraise. By the time we f f finished fundraising, 2004. By the time we filmed and finished, it was 2006. So it always takes time and, and um, really, documentary is not easy. It's, it's take a lot of patience.